gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck will I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? A peanut Hello, hello. Good to see you. I'm so glad you've come back. And if you're not coming back, hey, you've got some previous lessons to catch up on. So I've got the playlist. I'll link it up here. This is the fifth song in the series and we're getting more into spunky and funky and we are putting a different strumming pattern with C and G7 still ain't gonna rain no more old time 1800s uh, vaudeville minstrel act uh, number with lots of really bad puns. We're going to dive into three of them. I hope you've done your warm ups. Did you grab chord chart that warm up suggested warm ups and uh, chord charts are in a link down below. Let's dive into the strum first. We're going to start adding an up strum. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're going to be doing down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. The way that I recommend the beginners do an up strum is to use their index finger again and you're just bringing it up a little bit on the side of your finger so you're catching maybe a little bit of the nail and a little bit of the fleshy part of the pad of your finger. It's really getting to be important at this point that you approach your, in, your strumming very gently. You're really going to need economy of motion and using both your forearm and your wrist. So just think of, um, you know, Stu Fuchs is a wonderful teacher out there. Ukulele suggests, you know, it's like uh, brushing a baby's face. I love that analogy. Just So just keeping it nice and smooth. Just think of puppies and all that good stuff. And you want to be nice and gentle. Gentle also encourages you to use economy of motion because what I frequently see is when people are putting too much motion in it, um, you tend to get tangled up in the strings. So if you find that that's happening, just remember to lighten up and then just really try to limit your range of motion so that it's very economical. Let's do it on a C. Let's just keep it nice and down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. Down, up. I know that when I'm playing this way that my up strum is softer than my down strum because I'm catching more of my nail on the down strum. So if you're hearing that, hey, you're perfectly normal. You might notice that it's kind of like do as I say, not as I do. My up strum, I actually am using part of my thumb to the back of my thumbnail as I'm catching up. That's kind of how I develop my strum, and sometimes it's hard. It's not a bad habit. I, I like the sound of that strum, but it's hard for me to sometimes dial it back because um, this is where you should start as a beginner and then get into a little more finesse as you go along, and that'll come, right? So look how far you've come already, right? So let's practice the pattern. Down. Down, up, down, down, up. One, two things, one, two things. So the down takes up as much time as the down, up. So it's one, two things, one, two things. Do it, put your beat on your body somewhere and one, two things, one, two things. Say it, two things, one, two things. Let's put it on our instruments. Let's do it for about a minute. One, two, ready, begin.
Okay, so another layer of complexity that we're adding into the plane. It's exciting and it can be frustrating too. I, I, I do get that. Let's do the box diagram. I'll hum along with our C and G7 chord, give you an idea of how long to play it and just to practice it without the burden of lyrics and all that. So one, two, and here we go. Do two patterns for an intro, and then this time, each time I have a lot of a slash because there's lots of these chords. Um, that's the beginning of each pattern to help you along with that. So one, two, and here we go. It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck will I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain? in how your ukulele journey is going and how I can help you. You want to help me? If you're appreciating this content, make sure you like, subscribe to this. I also, this you like this t-shirt? I've got a link down below. It's an Amazon affiliate link where you can buy a t-shirt like this. It comes in lots of different colors, men's and women's sizes, um, as well as the strap, this instrument. If you think you'd like more mentorship from me, and you'd like to support this YouTube channel, there's a couple ways that you can do that. I have a Patreon site and I've got that listed down below. And also YouTube has like a thanks button where you can donate like, you know, a couple dollars. I think five dollars is one of the round numbers that they have in there. And you go like, oh, yeah, I'm, this is worth five dollars to me. I appreciate you offering this out here free for everybody. But uh, I've got some money I can throw you away. So please and thank you.